Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fortnite Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch. There we go. Waiting, watching the stars above. Hoping that I could win back your love. I'm so Without you, thought our love was true. Then you found someone new. Anyway, Looking for some old washing machines? Maybe a burned out car or two? Uh, might as well take a pile of indescribable crap while we're here. <laughs> I like Niner. I should probably check for updates on him. I sent something. You know... Last... What? What? What's the Ruben? Oh God! I have no idea how to start um, most of these quests. Wait. Well, we got a map marker. Actually, just a compass marker. Where's the map marker? Where's the freaking... Okay. No idea what the hell's going on with that. Rep Kano chair. Something weird's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna. Yep. Every time. Objects and pipes, um, containers, dump station. Last night. When we camped out, some prick comes along, shakes me, wakes me up. Starts ranting on about bottle caps. Don't worry though, I took care of it. Show him his stupid face, then went back to bed. Hello. Empty, usually uh, completely ignored location. Handful of new things or things that he's 
that aren't typically used in the environment. Yep, this is one of the Moose's handy dandy authentic crafty station thingies. Whew. They did not have enough of these in his other mod. I'm glad he has this. Now, let's see. Hey Christine, you're never going to believe what I ran across the other day. You remember that enormous gunrunner's arsenal shipment that got hijacked, right? Gunrunner's equipment has been turned off in the strangest hands ever since the contents of that shipment went missing. As it so happens, I can run across a nifty piece of equipment myself. It was a big box with wires and terminals. Another thing sticking out of it, that thing was heavy. Even my best pack Brahmin barely managed to load and did so with quite a lot of complaining. I found it not too far from Novak, near the creepy Repcon place. A couple of feral ghouls were fighting over the dead Brahmin the thing was strapped to. They didn't even notice me approach. I blocked like them a couple of shots from my brush gun went to blah 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 well I was on my way to the gun runners was with it when old lady Gibson came out of her scrapyard and stopped me she asked me what I was carrying and I showed her the hard machine she offered me 300 caps for it right there on the spot I was floored and thought the thing was probably just junk having been wasn't really in a mood to take it all the way the the gun runner so I went ahead and took took her up on the offer she even cooked up a fresh waste and an omelet for me before sending me on away I imagine that thing is still in her garage I can't see her managing to get it on a Brahmin by herself knowing her I bet she's trying to work out a deal with the gun runners to come pick it up at, the s at some point if you want to check out the machine I get over there and take a look at it before they come and get it for air caps I haven't I had that many caps since, well, I can't remember it the last time I had that many caps. Why don't you come and visit me? We'll go out and celebrate. Maybe get a nice meal at the prospectors and split a bottle of wine and talk about old times. What do you say? See you soon, Kent. Christine. Anyway. My open mod fabrication station, which is open modifications to keep you safe from more effective about dangerous Mojave at this station. You can construct all of these blah 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 Modification station to install your mod blank. Once you do, access this terminal again and select like, the mod you wish to fabricate. There are no refunds, so make sure to decide exactly which exciting weapon modification you want to fabricate before selecting it. The terminal for your convenience, only weapon mods that you can currently afford will appear on the terminal. Okay, uh, weapon mod blank. This actually goes along with a technology in Fallout, uh, which is mini facturing technology. Uh, fusion. Fission. Nuclear micro Nuclear micro fabrication technology. Um, uh, it's complicated stuff. And yeah, yeah. Basically, it takes raw materials and can and can uh, break them down and turn them into very, very complicated things. Uh, yeah. Hey there. Let's go. Let's hit the road. Uh, before we do anything with this big machine here, I'm going to. Um, well, first let me talk a little more about nuclear microfabrication. Um, we haven't seen anything yet, and it's rare. It's really rare. 
uh, usually it requires uranium pellets or just some sort of other heavy metal. Uh, yeah, it depends. Uh, I bought helmet it's from Project Nevada. The Reactivating legacy content for Fallout 3. Anyway, um, yeah, cool. I can't. It's impossible to tell at this time of how complicated this uh, machine really is. Cause just uh, as a As I was saying, uh, the nuclear war in Fallout happened in the year 2077. So, yeah. Many years in the future. Was it 65? Sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't have much else to do. I'm going to just wait. <sighs> I will see you guys in the next episode where I will uh, hopefully uh, scrounge up some conductors off screen like I was supposed to buy at the Gibson's house and then go deal with Boone's Sun's too bright. problems. The sun always this bright. I and hopefully give this guy some sunglasses so he'll stop complaining. This has been James Seth Lynch with Let's Play Mod Fallout Vegas.